Let's take a look at the Policies, Proposals, and Images form, which is found on the Management tab of the main menu of Forms Boss. You'll notice that it is color-coded in a green color, which means the management option is required in order to use this form. If you did not purchase the management option, you won't have access to the Policies form. You can, though, purchase the management option at any time if you would like to. Just give us a call. So this is your policy form. It will automatically open up to the last policy that you were working on. Let's go ahead and add a new policy. We need to select the customer here. And then um, you can label whether this is an active or inactive policy by clicking or unchecking this box here. You can give the billing type here. You will select your policy type from the list here. If you want to add any policy type, you would just select this uh, button here. And then you can add another policy type. You select your company from this pull down and your sales rep here. You definitely want to put in a policy number for each policy. The issue date will automatically appear as today's date. You can change that here with the calendar button. If you wanted to put another issue date, you would just select another date with the calendar here and click the green check box. And then it will ask you if you want to use this same date next year for um, the expiration date. I'm going to click yes. It will ask if I want to be reminded of the expiration. I'll click yes again. And then it will ask me how many days in advance I want to be reminded of this expiration. And I'll put in a number of days and click OK. So you'll see that it filled the expiration date in as one year from the issue date. You can also enter a cancel date or a suspense date if you need to with the calendar features there. Down here across the bottom, you'll see a notes tab similar to other forms. You can add notes about this um, policy. The commissions premiums tab is where a lot of the information about this policy is kept. This pay type would uh, allow you to select the number of times your customer is going to pay on this invoice. So for example, if they were only going to pay annually, they would just uh, you would just select one pay type. If they were going to pay monthly, you would select 12. Uh, well, we're going to make this a quarterly payment. For that quarterly premium amount, you can type that over here. Add a deposit amount a policy fee and other miscellaneous fees. You'll notice as I add each of those that it calculates them into the annual premium based on these numbers here and the number of payments that I added here. You can add a salesman percentage and a broker percentage and um, add those in to those boxes here. Over here on this side you can select whether this is a new policy a renewal or an endorsement and you can set the percentages for each of those here. In the payments due tab you would select the months that your customer is actually going to pay the premiums for this policy. So I need to select four payment months since I said that the customer was going to pay four times a year. On this side of the screen you have the forms tab. You can add a form for this policy just by clicking this button here. And it will bring up your forms list dialog and you can search for the form by typing a number of the form. Your form opens up for you and it automatically prefills your policy number that you added from the policy screen into the policy number fields on this form. 
We're not going to take the time to fill out this whole form right now, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to add a form to a policy. And you can see that form listed under the Forms tab there on that policy. If you wanted to add a description for that form, you would just click on it to highlight it and then click this Add a Description. and it will put your description in there. The Claims tab allows you to add claims that might be uh, listed for this policy. You can put a loss date in with this calendar feature. and you'll see that your claim is listed there uh, under the Claims tab. The Images tab gives you access to the uh, Policy Images and Documents section. Let me show you how that section works. You can select to add an image from a file by clicking on this button here. You can navigate to where you have that file saved. And it will put that um, image directly in your image record here. There is another tutorial that specifically goes into all the details about the Office Images documents. Uh, section and so I'm not going to show you too many more features of this screen here but just wanted to show you that you can add an image um, and a document uh, for uh, your policy. And you'll see that the uh, sort fields are listed there with the date entered under your images tab. The Photo tab allows you to add a photo for this policy. You can do that by clicking this Add Photo from File button. And it will just put the photo directly in there for you. The photo uh, that you put in would need to either be saved as a JPEG or a bitmap. Um, image in order to be able to fit in the uh, photo um, section of the form of the policy form here. Um, this one just happens to be saved as a JPEG so it would go there in the photo tab. The invoices tab allows you to add invoices for this policy. You would just add a new invoice by clicking this button. There is another tutorial that covers the invoice form itself and um, so I won't go into much detail about the invoice form here. Um, it is covered in the management tab options video um, but you can add um, policies, I mean you can add invoices for policies um, with this record here. And you'll see that it added a invoice to the invoices list in my policy form. You can also filter your invoices as open or paid or all. Um, if you wanted to only see um, the open ones or only see the paid ones, you could select those buttons there. This links tab allows you to um, save um, a link from a file or a folder on your computer. So if I wanted to link this same picture, I would just uh, select that and it would put the link for that picture in 
um, my links tab here you can delete the link with this button or you could go directly to that link by executing it with this button so that gives you a detailed look at the policy form I want to make sure you also know about the proposal option within the policy form that is contained in this button right here once you have all of your information entered in for your policy you just click this add edit proposal button and it will create a proposal for you that you can then alter just as you would any other document um, you can make changes uh, to this proposal as you need to it has uh, basic information included in here but you can type in and add and change anything that you want to um, and when you're finished uh, making changes to that proposal you'll just want to go up here and get save and that will save that proposal to this policy if you wanted to save this proposal elsewhere on your computer you would go up here to file and get save to file and you could navigate and save it somewhere else on the computer if you needed to if you wanted to access that proposal again you would just click on this button again and it will ask you basically whether you want to create a new proposal or if you want to open the previous proposal and so you can um, click no and open the previous proposal or you could click yes and create a brand new proposal so that gives you an idea what the policy form does and the proposals um, option within the policy form